Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You've gathered quite a troop of non-physicals. Oh, there's extra enthusiasm for you. Not because you're special. No, that is the reason, but specifically because of the focus that you're about, the steadiness of your focus, the strength of your asking has a lot of summoning power. And so we're going to have a really wonderful conversation as we're moving forward together. We like to ask if you know what you want, not because we expect you to figure it all out in this moment forevermore. But because it's a very good statement that causes focus within you that is very helpful. When we say, do you know what we want, what you want, what, what, what do you know what we want? <laughs> well, we are, we, we are a we, do you know what you want? What we are wanting to cause to happen within you as you contemplate that question is that you just sort of settle into the now not into forevermore and not into everything that has been, but into the now. What is your desire for now as the physical part of you and the non-physical part of you has an extra strong communication? Because that is certainly what is happening in this room. And as the time goes by, you'll feel it even in a stronger way. A more comprehensive meaning awareness on your part of the blending between you and you. And that really is what happily ever after is about. So many people not meaning to pinch themselves off from who they are with habits of thought. That's all beliefs are habits and patterns of thought that hold vibrational content that is resistant in nature. And because the thoughts are familiar, they don't even realize they're doing it. It just feels normal to think those thoughts and therefore to feel this way and therefore to offer this vibration and therefore to affect your point of attraction. And that point of attraction not only includes the things that you're asking for and the people who will show up in your experience, but it includes your own relationship with your own inner being, your point of attraction. We want to give even a better, phrase to that it's your point of what you're letting in you already did the work you've already done so much step wanting which is the asking part which comes about from the sifting and sorting of life you've done so much of that that the asking and the answering in other words the non-physical answering has already taken place but when we talk about your point of attraction what we really mean is your physical human point of attraction. You see, you already ask and launched rockets of desire and your inner being who is a big part of you who remains non-physically focused has already attracted the cooperative components for whatever it is you are asking for. So your point of attraction is twofold. It's what you ask for that caused your inner being to hold steady and therefore to absolutely attract what you want and all of the cooperative components about it and all of the paths, all of the circumstances and events that will lead to the full manifestation or turning thoughts to things of what you want. That's already happened. You've asked and your inner being has allowed it's your, it's your, it's your, it's your point of attraction to receive it vibrationally. But in order for you to experience the turning of the thoughts to things, now you've got to understand your point of attraction and your point of attraction must be more of the time, not the step one asking part, but the step three, letting it in part your point of attraction, your human point of attraction. So when we talk about point of attraction, we're talking about it from two perspectives. You see, you ask and your inner being stands in your vibrational reality in your vortex and attracts by focus 
what you want and the path to it that attraction has taken place but you got to find some way to stand with your inner being so that the attraction that your inner being is attracted is yours too do you get what we're talking about you can't say I would like more money in which case your inner being understands your request for prosperity holds the clear thoughts about prosperity attracts the circumstances and events for prosperity and never turns attention away from your prosperity while you on the other hand complain about not having enough money so your inner beings point of attraction on your behalf keeps summoning more and more and more more opportunity more rendezvous more ways for it to come about more understanding of how big you want it as your life continues to carve it out but that point of attraction while it matters and it is so big and it is truly remarkable if you don't do the step three part of the equation if you don't find some way of softening your resistance which means releasing beliefs that work against you then even though you're asking continually it's so interesting to watch you ask because you don't have something that you want and it comes to your inner being but because you don't stand with your inner being often enough because you complain rather than appreciate then you stand without knowing you've got it even though you've got it and you say well maybe my inner being's got it but it's not in my bank account and we say yeah it's on its way to your bank account but you're holding it up because while your inner being is focused upon your prosperity while you are not you put yourself in a vibrational place of not allowing the blending between you and your inner being and doesn't that feel even more significant when you understand that your inner being holds all the things that you want it's worth making a little bit of attention to blend with all of that we're not just asking you to blend with the non-physicals like us we're asking you to blend with what you've been asking for we're asking you to blend with the vibrational frequencies that put you in the receptive mode that give you the wherewithal the clarity in order to focus yourself along this path of unfolding most humans don't give a rip about the path of unfolding you just say put the car in the garage and leave it at that put my lover in the bed and I'm good <laughs> but what you have to understand is you put it in the vortex now you've got to get it out of the vortex and into your life experience you're the one that has to turn these vibrations to thoughts and these thoughts to words and these words to impulses and these impulses to actions and these actions to the things that you've been asking for for the states of being that you've been asking for you hold all the cards you're doing all of this creation for you in this experience you are doing the asking which matters so much the laws of the universe and your inner being and all the magnificent God force energy is focusing those things into beingness getting them ripe and ready for you to bring it all the way home but when you just ask and complain you don't bring it home you just keep filling your vortex up and up and up and what's interesting about that is that the more you ask and don't let in the more tension you feel the more you ask and don't let in the more belligerent you become the more you ask and don't let in then the more you blame everybody else about it and so in these days that we are together it is our desire that you come into full recognition that you create your own reality that you through the life that you live through the sifting and sorting come to your own important and personal conclusions about what you want and you launch these rockets of desire and then your rockets of desires are tended to by the energy that creates worlds tended to by those who love you and know you and want your well-being but you've got some stuff you got to do you got to do more than do the contrast thing which makes you ask once you ask you got to find a way of believing what you ask for you can't stand in disbelief of what you're asking for and have any opportunity to turn those thoughts to things and you know what's so much fun turning thoughts to things it's so much fun to be moving in the direction of what you're asking for in fact 
We're going to be so bold and accurate, especially accurate and bold. We're going to be so bold and accurate as to say to you, bold and accurate, 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 accurate as to say to you that the only place that satisfaction comes from is you allowing your thoughts to move in the direction of your desires. Because when you ask and don't let it in, you feel terrible. Split energy is awful. Don't you know that? Think about the things that you feel indecisive about. Aren't those miserable subjects? And people say, well, have you made up your mind? No, go away. <laughs> well, you need to decide pretty quick. Well, no, well, I get that. I want to decide, but my energy's all split. Well, stop it. Don't split your energy. Well, beliefs do that. Beliefs split energy from desires all the time. You don't believe that you can be or do or have anything, but your inner being does. So you're split from your inner being. Oh, you believe some things. You believe some people can be or do or have anything. And you don't like them very much. And that's another split. <laughs> you want to be prosperous and you hate those who are. That's a split. You want to be clear minded, but those who are, sometimes you feel jealousy. That's a split. You want to love, but sometimes you hate. That's a split. In other words, you got to do something about your split energy if you want to be happy. And once you do that, everything that matters to you will flow into your experience with such ease. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> we hope it was worth the drive. <laughs> we want to talk with you about anything that matters to you. There's nothing off limits. In fact, everything's on limits. Everything's on the table here. Anything that you want to talk about. Don't worry about us. We will wedge our message in the crack and don't worry. We won't reveal anything that you don't want revealed. You get to talk about what you want and we understand what it is you want. We understand what it is you want to say. We understand how far you're willing to go in what you say. And it is our promise to you that we will answer the depth of your question. Whether you say everything that would be helpful or not, because we read minds, you see, <laughs> we know what you're getting at. We've been hanging around with you for a long time and there will be no embarrassment happening. There will be nothing revealed that you don't want revealed. There'll just be clarity that comes as a result of your willingness to participate with us here. We consider this, we'll tell you already the best conversation that we've ever had with a group of people. So let's get to it. Let's get to it.